Okay. Today I'm going to uh, I'm going to thank all of you for being such an amazing audience. Uh, I thank you because I learned a lot from your experience. I'm going to start by showing you this photo. And the first one, uh, it was taken in Atlanta. And the interesting part is that it, there used to be a plantation over there. Uh, the second one uh, was in front of the Capitol. Uh, and the third one, uh, I went to visit the Crazy Horse Monument. Uh, in this one, I am on. Uh, I went to South Dakota to help uh, Native Americans in an Indian reservation. Uh, you guys might be a little bit confused by now with all of this, so let me explain what is all of this about. You guys, uh, I have a dream. My dream is to become part of history. That is the reason I traveled to this location. That. That is the reason I, I got involved with organizations to help people. My goal is that someday my work will be remembered. This is a great opportunity to be part of the history, and a great opportunity is to be part in a presidential election. As citizens of this great nation, it is our duty to vote. Uh, we all know that we have problems like student loans, uh, minimum wages and immigration. I will get to these points later. First, in my audience analysis, I found very interesting data. All of you have a pretty good understanding of what uh, the political arena is in the United States. In this class, we have about eight, uh, eight Democrats, seven Republicans, about six independents. This is great, it is good. It's good for our democracy. There is only one socialist, that is me. Now, let me start by saying that according to PewResearch.org, only 37% voted in the midterm election in 2010, and only 54 voted in the presidential election in 2012. These numbers are very low, don't you think? I said before, we can all be part of history by voting in the next presidential election. So the 50% will be brought up to 100%. But who are the candidates? As you can see, my first candidate is uh, Donald Trump. According to US Today Politics, even after a week of attacking over his criticisms of John McCain, Donald Trump continues uh, to lead the Republican Party presidential field. But Trump believes that all undocumented people are criminal. Not a good option for Hispanics who are citizens of the United States, uh, who has a mother or a father or a brother who is undocumented in this country and not a criminal as Trump believes. As Nick Gass writes on Political Magazine, Hillary Clinton uh, is leading among Democrats with 51%. But Clinton is uh, debating the minimum wage to be uh, raised up to $15 per hour. In other words, she's not supporting the minimum wage to be $15 an hour. Is that all? Yes. Are there any other options? The answer is yes. Uh, the option is Bernie Sanders. The socialist from Vermont. Senator Sanders supports free education. He, su uh, he proposed the minimum wage to be $15 per hour. And last but not least, he supports a path to citizenship. Bernie Sanders uh, said in Phoenix on July 18, 2015, this country belongs to all of Americans and not only to a few billionaires. The wealthy cannot have it all. Working people deserve fair checks. This means $15 as a minimum wage. 
Bernie Sanders is 100% sure that minimum wage should be $15 per hour, unlike Hillary Clinton, who is still debating. In an interview with Tom Hartman on RT, Russian TV, Bernie Sanders said, this is about immigration. We'll, we have about 11 million undocumented people, and they are workers. Some, some of them have been here for many years. It is my strong view that we need a path to citizenship. He used the word workers, workers to describe the undocumented people. The, the word workers means good people. They are not criminals, as Trump said. <coughs> they are good people in the eyes of Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, in an interview on CNN on May 19, 2015, said, if you really want to grow the minimal, the middle class in this country, everybody in this country should have free education. And today, I'm introducing legislation, legislation to make public college and universities tuition free. None of the other candidates mentioned uh, before support public college and university tuition free. In conclusion, Bernie Sanders is the best choice for presidents of the United States. He supports public college and university tuition free. He believes that minimum wage should be $15 per hour. And he supports the, a path to citizen, citizenship for undocumented workers. Now, I'm going to ask you for a big favor. I want you to say, I want Bernie Sanders to say my name. <laughs> Come on. I want Bernie Sanders to say my name. Say it. I want Bernie Sanders to say my name. I want Bernie Sanders to say my name. And this is because we, all, we are uh, college students, and I think we deserve a better treatment from the government. Thank you.